Uh, good evening to you all in uh, Europe. Uh, good morning and good afternoon for those of you who are tuning in from further afield. Uh, show us your flags below um, and uh, yeah, give your country a shout out. It'd be great to see who is out there. I'm, uh, I'm Andy. I've worked at Heritage Park Centre for, and I spend most of my time meeting people and creating stories about them and their vehicles. Uh, joining us for the fourth of our series of live chats tonight is uh, Mr. MIT Niels Timmerman uh, from his office in Amsfoort in uh, the Netherlands. Uh, we just added him to the chat, so hopefully he'll be along shortly. Um, here he is. As a uh, evening, Niels. Hey, good evening. As uh, so, as co-creator of the quarterly published tri-language collectible coffee table magazine, Niels a regular in the air cooled scene all around the world. And uh, in fact, I met him in, when I was out in Indonesia. Uh, if you're not into air cool VWs, then uh, it's not the end of the world. Stick around. It's going to be uh, a yeah, good chat. So, yeah, welcome along, Niels. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank um, you. That's all right, not a problem. Um, I gave MIT a quick intro there, but I'm pretty sure you could do a, just a better job. Do you want to uh, just give us a bit of a rundown of what MIT is all about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, MIT is a, a, um, a quarterly printed magazine, um, and we've been doing this for, for 10 years now. Um, it started out uh, as a website and I was traveling well all over Europe and eventually the world to uh, uh, make show reports that was way before Facebook or at least uh, before it got really popular um, and we had a, a pretty big database with pictures and all that, that stuff. Um, I'm a graphic designer by trade so I thought it would be a, a good idea to see if there uh, would be space for another magazine and um, I gave the try with the zero issue, and um, well, that, that kind of worked out. So uh, we're still <laughs> <laughs> we're still doing this, and um, um, yeah, since then a lot of stuff has changed, of course, with social media and the website. So it, the website itself is still is now a more uh, a web shop based uh, platform. Um, uh, we still do some uploads on. Uh, on the galleries but nowadays with social media it's a lot easier and faster and you can do it live just like we're doing now um but yeah the, the magazine itself is um printed every three months um it sounds weird but we publish five magazines in december we always have two editions uh also a portfolio edition which is um a, a magazine just filled with pictures, uh, some small uh, uh, photo captions added to it. And those pictures are um, sent in by readers. So it's literally by okay. and for the readers, which is a nice extra. Um, but the, the basic magazine is, is four times a year uh, in three languages, three languages in one magazine, uh, English, German, and French. Um, yeah, we, we, we try to... Um, yeah, focus on the cars, of course, uh, uh, air-cooled Porsches as well, um, and, and, and try to do a lot of good show reports. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's all in print. We don't have any <laughs> digital uh, uh, um, platform as in the magazine. We, we really focus on print. Um, I think nowadays it's still like a, an extra value to just sit back, relax, and the smell of freshly printed paper and um yeah yeah do it old school let's say it that way just like the cars yeah yeah awesome so um is mit your day job or have you got something that's more kind of regular to keep the, the bills getting paid yeah bills need to get paid well <laughs> mit the magazine itself is uh, uh it's it is my daily job but still uh, uh as i said i'm a graphic designer by trade so um, um, I'm sh I, st I still do that. Uh, I have my yeah, graphic yeah. design company for 20 years now. And Air, Ma Air Mighty Magazine is uh, part of a publishing company, which I run. And that um, is now 10 years ongoing. And Air Mighty is, well, about 75% of what I do. So I do the, the, some photo shoots, uh, but we also have a lot of contributors uh, globally sending in uh, um, uh, stuff um, but I do the, the full layout um, uh, and and I make sure that all the content comes in so we have a team of uh, seven uh, writers translators okay. and um, well uh, uh, um, 
photo wise it's not really like um uh, it, that can be everybody so it can be a professional photographer or just someone who takes good pictures like you know that's what i do myself yeah, yeah. as well i don't say that i'm a, a real photographer but i'm handy with it it works out so uh um but uh, uh, the, the team itself is me and, and seven uh, freelance writers and translators, which we use every issue. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, what's your connection with the Air Cooled VW? Was it your first car or what's kind of spurred you Yeah, on? it was my first car. Uh, my parents, they weren't really into cars or whatsoever. So it, it kind of grew on me. Um, uh, and my, my first car was, uh, was a Beetle. Um, after a couple of years, my girlfriend actually saw it. She spotted it in in our in our hometown, and uh, she said, "Oh, you need to check it out." I did. I bought it, um, and uh, um, soon after that, I sold the car and I bought my '60 Beetle, which I now still own. So, uh, yeah, that car has been uh, well in the family for uh, quite a while now. Um, and since then, I'm kind of like everyone else, I guess. It's hard to sell, you know. You just want to, oh, yeah, I'll buy this one. Maybe I'll sell that one, and it never happens, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but that, that's kind of how I how I got into it. I'm not – and, and uh, uh, my dad's uncle, he was into uh, Beatles, and he took me to uh, a big show, Beatle, uh, in Holland uh, when I was 15. And that okay. was when I when I got addicted to uh, to the whole scene and, and – and, yeah, I knew I wanted to have a Beetle as a as a first car. So, uh, yeah, once I saved up the money, I bought it, and since then we've been visiting shows and yeah, doing what everyone does, just enjoying the scene. And uh, yeah, I'm still still doing that. So uh, yeah, yeah, fantastic. Is there a is there a certain type of air called VW or or Porsche that really kind of gets you going? A particular yeah model or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm kind of. Um, I like all models uh, for some reason. Uh, I, I, I have several models as well. It's not like I'm into the Beatles or the buses. I, I like it all, which is not easy. But um, one of my favorite cars definitely would be, um, okay, it's an early one, but it's a, a, a barn door single cap. That's really high on my, uh, on my <laughs> want to have list. Um, and it, that kind of grew on me. Um, uh, I live now. I live in Leusden. We used to live in Amersfoort, but in Leusden there is the Pond dealership. So within the the Volkswagen uh, hobby, my main interest, uh, or a lot of my interest, also is uh, uh, the the Pond dealership and the whole history from from Pond. He designed the bus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, long story short, um, they used to have a service truck, uh, fifty three barn door smooth gate service truck and i would love to recreate that bus so that, that's kind of like a thing i would love to do just keep it stock with i have all yeah. pictures from their r gifts with the sign writing on it and yeah that will be like a, a dream come true but nowadays it's so expensive it's uh, yeah it will probably never happen but you, you know you've got to find one to start with well, you got to find one, and I see them now and then, and some people know, so they tip me, but it's <laughs> super expensive. So, uh, yeah, 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 kind of, kind of. I should have bought one like uh, 15 years ago or something, but yeah, even back then I thought, oh, that's expensive, I'm not going to do it, and now it's like uh, triple the money or something, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One day, maybe, yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever dabbled with, like, newer Volkswagens, Golfs and things like that, or they're not really well, new? Um, it's it's not my main interest. I do like the the early cars, like the Golf ones and the the first Polo models uh, with the nice chrome bumpers and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, nowadays, the the Type Three buses, you see them more and more, of course. Also, the the water cool ones. But um, uh, when I had my '60 Beetle, I drove it uh, on daily basis for one and a half years, and then I saw old pictures and i was like "Ooh, this is going you know rust wise it was going you know, it was getting bad and uh, not really bad but i saw how i bought the car and after one and a half year using it so i bought a, a 82 um uh, polo hatchback okay yeah 
And I used that as my daily car, and then I put the the, the beetle aside just for, uh, uh, well, the, the good weather drives. Um, it was a lot of fun. It even moved my my now wife to our uh, uh, first proper uh, uh, home it, yeah. because they're pretty big. Actually, you can move no, a lot of stuff around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that well, that's my only well real real experience with um, uh, uh, older water cooled Volkswagens uh, at home we only I have a T5 bus which I use uh, you know for the business wise and my wife yeah, drives yeah. A, a 2014 I think it is Polo but you know those cars just need to drive need to get us from A to B and that's kind of it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no worries um, so we met over in Indonesia at job yeah. at BW Festival last November I think you've been to other places in in Asia as well. We've been to other shows over there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, first time it was in Asia it was in Japan, and okay. we went to uh, uh, the Hot Rod and Custom Show organized by Moon Eyes. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was a pretty intense show. One day there's or yeah, one day it's a lot of stuff going on in and outside. It's crazy. Um, did a lot of shop visits and stuff, uh, which is cool. The, the 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 scene over there is very hardcore really dedicated to what they do it's not just the car it's the whole dress up the hairstyle everything you know it's really, <laughs> really cool yeah it's really cool um uh yeah so japan i've been there uh three times now uh low life vw show organized by a good friend of mine uh site um and uh well last uh, last time uh, was in in when we were, when was it we were there it was November, uh, November yeah. we were in Indonesia and uh, there was kind of a lot going on because before that I was in Japan for a week and then a week at home and then off to Indonesia and in that week before it was also Japan we went to uh, the Klasis VW Treffen organized by Flat Four which was um, something completely different only stock cars. Uh, kind of like Hashies, but uh, smaller. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, it's cool. That's cool. It's 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 great to see that that people all around the world have their own, you know, their own scene, and 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 it's it's yeah, especially fun to see all the small differences about how they organize a show and what they do to their cars. Japanese car guys are really hardcore, but they're very creative in a subtle, okay. cool way, and. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, we all know America, of course, from from uh, all the pictures and socials and everything. It's a uh, um, it's it's a different experience going there and visiting shows. Uh, we've been there, I don't know, six or seven times, I think. Okay, uh, well, um, yeah, started in two thousand and five. The magazine didn't even exist existed back okay. then, and. Uh, I went there with with some friends just to take pictures, uh, uh, visit friends, uh, um, and and upload them on the website. That's what I did. I had a laptop with me, and I, we went to the yeah. shows, updated the the website, and then went to all the forums and stuff. You know, uploaded the pictures on the Samba yeah, yeah, yeah. and a lot of other forums. And oh, we've been here. Have a look and try to uh, get people to your website and get some traffic going and. Looking back at it, it was fun. It was really fun, and and we just did it for fun, you know, just showing what what was going on. Um, and my main goal, even back then, was to put new stuff online. So there were a lot of blogs, and and, and everyone was uh, copy pasting pictures, and yeah, 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 that didn't really interest me. It needed to be new. You need. I wanted to add something to the scene and. With the magazine, it's kind of the same thing, you know. You, you want to add something, you try to show new cars, uh, show uh, the events from maybe a different perspective, or uh, um, in this case, uh, uh, document it, of course, uh, for, for, for now to enjoy and for later to look back at. So, yeah, yeah. So, have you been, to, you been down to Australia as well? No, never been to Australia. No, no, I need to go there sometime. I, I, I know the scene a bit and yeah. I know some people there and um, yeah, they've been asking and yeah, uh, there's still so much to see. I mean, we've been to a lot of shows in, in Europe and in the UK, of course, in Scandinavia, America, uh, in Asia, 
And, uh, yeah, that's probably it. It's still big, but never been to Australia before. Have you? Have you been there? No, no I've not been. No, no, I've, no. A few guys from work have been out, but no, I've not been. No. Have you, been, no. you done South America? Uh, no. 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 Uh, well, I say no. I've been to Mexico, so yeah. Um, but not for a holiday, I guess, rather than like a... No, no, for a show. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good friend of mine, uh, Alex Thompson, he uh, he he organized uh, organized the VW Treffen, and okay. nowadays he he organized the DKW show in December. And um, I've been two times to um, uh, to Mexico to check out the shows. I stayed at his place and uh, shot some cars there for the magazine, and it really friendly, really cool. Really cool. It's uh, again a different scene because the the beetle over there, you see them in the streets everywhere, all later yeah. types, and um, uh, the early models are all import. Uh, I think they started in the late sixties, if I'm okay. Just, yeah. So everything before that is all import, and 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 people are really um, um, well taking well care of them, and you can see because the beetle in the in their country is. Um, um, yeah, it's like a, 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 how do you say that? Like a, an icon, isn't it? An icon, yeah, definitely. So they can really appreciate an older uh, uh, type. So they they know yeah. they know when they see uh, when they see one, which is which is good. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice scene. Have you um, have you ever considered adding additional languages to the magazine to kind of broaden the? Yeah, yeah, we we did, we did. Uh, <laughs> Spanish would would be logical, you know. Uh, um, Brazil, uh, Mexico, Spain, of course, but it's um, it's difficult. Uh, some people here in Holland um, also ask me, "Can you just put Dutch in there?" You know, uh, why not? It's easy to do, but yeah. um, it's 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 um, it's difficult in a way. Um, the, the magazine itself is, is not cheap in print. It's high quality, thick paper. And um, uh, if, if, you, if you down, because what we need to do is downsize the quantity and, um, and do like a 50-50 run. And it's just too expensive, um, printing-wise, uh, writing-wise, because you need translators and writers to, to, to get it properly written um all, all the writers that we that we work with are all guys from the volkswagen scene um so they know uh, for instance when you're talking about a fridolin they know they can talk about a frit as well you know and, yeah, yeah. and you don't get any questions but they they probably know more about volkswagens than i do actually so uh, <laughs> no, all, pro all props to them yeah definitely but um um Oh, that's my wife. I see. That's my son. Okay, yeah, I was looking at that <laughs> saying I don't understand. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, he says hi, Dad. I hope it's going well. Kiss Justin. <laughs> yeah, no, and it's funny. But um, uh, so yeah, we've been thinking about it, but it's 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 simply too much. It's not doable. It's not doable. We're a small independent uh, uh, publishing company, and um, yeah, this is. The the three languages is already a plus. Looking at other magazines and and yeah. that sets us apart from from the rest. And uh, that way um, uh, it spreads out, uh, um, especially in in Europe, of course. And we 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 kind of focus on being a European air cooled VW lifestyle magazine. But of course, with the English language as the main language, it spreads way further than just Europe. So um, yeah, I think it's good the way it sits now. Yeah. Do you offer international subscriptions? So you have people from all over yeah. subscribing to it? Yeah, we ship globally. So it doesn't really matter where people are from. Um, uh, so everyone can, can get a subscription or buy loose magazines or merchandise yeah. or whatsoever uh, through, through the web shop. Um, the only thing is that the magazine itself weights, including an envelope, like one kilogram. So, um, yeah, once they live further away, shipping costs can be become pretty expensive but um 
all in all, we ship worldwide and we have subscribers everywhere. It doesn't matter, even in Australia, like you, like you mentioned earlier, and Malaysia, Indonesia. And I see Indra coming up, so uh, uh, <laughs> Indonesia. Uh, um, and, and, and we also ship uh, like a, a pallet to America. Uh, okay. One of our uh, uh, distributors over there, ISP West, they uh, they ship them out for us. So we we pack one pallet, ship them to the states, and they ship them out for local costs. And that way we can we can keep the shipping costs to for America a little bit lower, um, and and make a little bit more interest. So yeah, we're always trying to figure out the the best and cheapest way to uh, to get the magazine round. But um, yeah, shipping costs can be killing sometimes. But Globally, it doesn't matter where you are. If you want to have it, you can order it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, so, yeah, do you want to run us through your your collection? You've kind of mentioned you've, um, you've got your Beetle, haven't you? And your yeah. T5. What, what else yeah. have you got? Yeah. Uh, well, I have the 60 Beetle. That, that's my, my, my first, well, actually second, but the first car. And the one that I still have. Um, then I have a, a 51 crotch cooler, uh, split window Beetle, uh, original Dutch car. Um, not perfect, but it's unrestored and it's, it's a driver, which is, is good. Okay. Uh, last year we um, uh, restored... Uh, the blue rally beetle maybe some beetle have well, some people have seen it. Um, it we did it pretty fast i had two split window shells and chassis literally stacked up sitting for maybe 12 13 years already yeah That's like good. oh it's uh, and I'll, maybe i'll i'll do that sometime well 15 years later you think yeah in 15 years now they still will be standing so uh yeah, yeah. Uh, we took one, and uh, I didn't have any interior whatsoever, so uh, let's build a, a rally beetle and, and actually use it, you know. Um, yeah. So that's what we did last year. It was kind of also on Facebook uh, a, a fun thing to, to follow, and then we took it to the Peter Max Müller Rennen last year, and uh, in February this year, we took it to uh, Zellensee in uh, in Austria for an um, ice race. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was quite fun it was really a lot of fun um so yeah that's a 52 cross cooler split window beetle and then i have my 53 barn door uh it was a long project as well i bought that in 2006 uh i have um my wife has a 60 uh 68 westphalia bus also a original dutch bus um uh, we have a 66 912 Porsche, um, oh, yeah. and uh, uh, recently I got my hands on a 68 uh, Type 3 Fastback. Um, so yeah, it, it, it kind of grew uh, over <laughs> the years. And like I said, it's it's hard to to you know put something to sell to sell stuff. I'm more yeah. like a you know for me that's that's hobby. I, I like to trade. I like to see what I have and see what we can do with that. Like the, the two shells I had, let's build one car. And um, I did the, 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 the paint work myself. Uh, it, it needed some welding, I didn't do that. And I'm not the mechanic type of guy, but um, um, what I can do, I try to do. I mean, it's not like I have two left hands, but um, um, I always tell that to people so I don't have to help, but uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, but it was it was a, a fun project. But a, a good friend of mine, Marco Marco Duval, he uh, he he does a lot of the the, the technic uh, work uh, on on my cars, or actually all of it. Um, he wanted to have the other uh, split window beetle shell. So you know that's a good trade for that for me yeah, yeah. for us. That's a fun way, uh, um, and and, and uh, yeah, like friends. Uh, 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 hanging out, working on cars like you used to do, and still yeah, like we do. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, that's. Um, I can show you the cars if you want. Yeah, I mean, cool. I can, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can go downstairs. Yeah. They're, they're not all here, but uh, I can. I can go downstairs. Yeah. Well, it's raining now, but I'm not sure if you can see. That's the. See, oh, that's nice. the, uh, that's the fast. But I, I drive it daily now. And oh, okay. My office is located right across the pond dealership. If you, as you can see, there's a lot of cars there. So that's kind of like that's a coincidence. I didn't do that on purpose, though. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just a coincidence. But um, 
Let me go downstairs quickly. Do you work at the office on your own? Or have you got a team of people who are there? No, the no, I, w I work on my own. I've been working on my own for 20 years now. And um, yeah, I don't know. It, I, I find it okay. It's uh, no stress on keeping employees busy. And uh, as long as we can... Uh, you know, we have enough income for, for the family and, and get everything going. Um, I think it's, it's, it's good. You know, it's, uh, I will never be uh, rich in this kind of job. I, I know that. But uh, as long as we can have a lot of some fun, it's exactly, most yeah. important. So, um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And all in all, I think we, uh, we didn't do bad. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me turn the camera around. Uh, I'm oh. not sure if you can see. Yeah, so that's the, the car we... Uh, we put together last year and um yeah, yeah like i said it's um i didn't have any interior so uh with help of a lot of friends we we kind of created this and uh yeah we, it's awesome. uh, yeah it's cool huh it's it's something completely different a uh, little uh, uh 30 horsepower um <coughs> sorry for that uh engine uh, yeah which um, I'm not sure if there's really noisy all the, but Marco put put the the engine together, and uh, yeah, just two single carburetors and yeah, just yeah. pretty much stock 30 horsepower. But it goes it goes pretty pretty well. So uh, that's uh, the the 50 53. Uh, that was like a well 10 year restoration project. Um, my friend Paul Wisk from the UK, he did a lot of work on it. Okay. And, uh, that was also like a trade thing. I bought two yeah, yeah. boxes. I got them cheap back in the days. And uh, uh, long story short, I gave him one for all the metal and paint work. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, a, and, and Marco did all the technique on it eventually. And it, this drives like a dream. It's really like a, Lovely. a, a, a cool car to drive. Um, yeah, this is the 60 Beetle. That's my, oh, let's say, first, yeah. first keeper, let's say, like that. Uh, a lot of people know it. I, I drove this yeah, car. Yeah, pictures of it. Yeah, I drove this car everywhere in Europe to all the shows, and uh, it's seen a lot of places. But I, I literally, yeah, sorry about the language, but I literally drove the shit out of it, and it needs... <laughs> uh, it needs new floor pens. It, it originally was, because it's been faded a lot, but um, uh, burial green. Yeah, yeah. So um, with the, the original colored steering wheel and the interior all in the same color. But yeah, um, yeah like I said, it's, uh, over the years it's been faded and it, it, it kind of looks yellowish now, as you can see even on the sides and everything. But... Yeah, it's it's still original paint and a um, nice car, 1641 engine and yeah, narrowed original sprint stars. They weren't in reproductions back then. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it's. Uh, I need to get this going. Ask my friends, which car <laughs> do you need to work on? Everyone will say this car. So, uh, I think uh, That's we'll next. save up and then that will be the next one. And this is, yeah, this is unrestored, but this is... Uh, uh, original Dutch um, 51 crotch cooler and um, yeah for me this is uh, well as mentioned uh, I, I like the whole plum history and stuff yeah yeah and it's it's got the original engine 25 horsepower but you, it has a palm dealer tag see oh, palm lovely. arm sword and everything so it was sold by so delivered by palm and sold by uh, Garage Cost in Amsterdam. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That gives it a really nice extra for me. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of my, how do you say that? Happy space? <laughs> or at least <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's fun. I have some of the magazines here and all the, the trade stand, um, uh, uh, you know, the easy up yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, but the, the magazines itself are at a, a big warehouse company, very close by. But they do all the shipping and handling for me because that came that was a little bit too much to do. 
Um, I used to do that for a couple of years, but um, yeah, it, 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 it's not doable to do all the work and then be busy with shipping and handling. You probably know how much work and yeah, time exactly. consuming that is. So uh, you do what you yeah. do best and then let someone else who does that bit best do that bit. Well, exactly, exactly. They are connected to, uh, to our um, uh, uh, web shop. And as soon as an order comes in and it's uh, it's success successfully uh, um, well finished and, and ordered, they will get the order form automatically, uh, uh, put it in an envelope and ship it uh, the same day normally. So uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that's kind of the downstairs garage. Have you had many? Uh, why did I start this days with MIT? Have you kind of yeah thought, yeah what am I yeah. doing? Yeah, I did actually. I'll just turn it around again. <laughs> don't don't get scared now. But um, yes, uh, but I think yeah, it's hard to explain. I think you know, it's not really hard to explain. <laughs> I, I'm I'm more the type of guy that that thinks like, okay, sounds like a good plan. Let's give it a try, and then I'll, yeah, I'll just yeah. go for it. I don't do <laughs> calculating and what if and blah blah. blah. No, we just okay, let's see what happens. And then you're doing it and then people expect another magazine and another one. And then you start working with subscriptions and, oh shit, yeah, now we really need to deliver, you know? And um, <laughs> I, 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 when I started, I, I had the, the graphic design company for 10 years already. So um, I had a, a pretty big client base and I and, and I also worked for another uh, uh, publishing company and uh, I had three magazines already uh, one 11 times a year the other one four times a year as well and a small monthly uh, uh, magazine next to all the other work so I've been doing that for years and years um, and uh, Air Mighty was kind of like and it, it got like an out of hand project so yeah. it was still part of the graphic design company, but it just got more and more bigger, bigger. And um, uh, um, yeah, eventually I stopped with the other, uh, doing uh, uh, the other magazines for the publishing company and made a pretty big step for me because that was uh, a big part of my, my income, uh, a certain income, because doing a magazine yeah. for someone, you know, it's, it's monthly income. And, yeah. uh, and, you know, with all the other graphic design work, it's you, when a client needs something, uh, you step up, you do the work, you send an invoice and, well, then you, you kind of paid. wait. Yeah, you get paid and you wait for the next uh, uh, job to do, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and, and with, with the other magazines, it was something completely different because one was in the perfume industry. Um, uh, um, so it, it's something, it, it wasn't my passion or something, but yeah, it, it was a, an, an, a, a basic income. And, uh, in 2012 or 13, so after a three or four years of doing Air Mighty, I decided to, uh, to, to stop with those magazines and focus fully on, uh, 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 on, on the Air Mighty magazine, of course, with a lot of talking. And at that point, you do need to make some, you know, put some numbers, like, is this yeah. going to work out? And, um, uh, yeah, so we, we, we just did it and see where it ended up. And now, yeah, we're, we're still going strong. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it work. Yeah, 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 it saves me a lot of long nights. Still, the magazine going into deadlines, it, it's a lot of late work, late night sessions. and uh, um, But back then, it was it was almost every every night because of all the other work that needed to be done. So, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 it gives us some, some time back to, uh, well, focus more on this magazine, make it better and, you know, slowly developing and, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just a quick, quick one. There must mm -hmm. have been some. What were you going to call it if you didn't call it MIT? Did you have any kind of almost runs, which kind of? Yeah, good question. No one asked me that before. To be honest, I don't know because the <laughs> website itself started back in two thousand and one or something, two thousand and two, yeah. and the website was named Air Mighty. Um, 
so it was for me people already knew me uh, as Niels Ermite. It was kind of logical to give it that name. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I didn't really think of any other names. Uh, back then, I worked together with a, a, a companion. Uh, we started uh, with with Kobus, Kobus Kantreine. He, he uh, a lot of people know him uh, from the Buggin, and uh, yeah. uh, he was a pretty well-known guy. Uh, he kind of stepped out the scene, long story short, but... Um, um the first four or five years we did it together and um yeah he, he in the beginning he was like oh shall we let's think of some names but for me it was pretty logical to just name it air mighty so uh, it, it was kind of like a no-brainer and just uh, call it air mighty magazine or magazine that's the only thing because air mighty okay. magazine you know uh, it was like oh that's simple Let's 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 uh, do it. Uh, let's call it um, mega scene, and then eventually it turned out like mega scene. So, yeah, nowadays that kind of gets used, yeah, off and on, and it doesn't really matter. People know where mighty, yeah. and hopefully they know it's a magazine. And um, yeah, yeah. What would um what would you say the best best opportunity that MIT's brought you? Um, well, I think the fact that we can travel a lot for work, meet a lot of people, um, yeah, and simple fact that the, uh, my, my work is, is my hobby and it still is my hobby. Um, yeah. um, and it, it brings you a lot of freedom as well. Uh, I already felt that as a graphic designer, because I just need my computer and I can, work wherever I want but doing this uh, um, as part of my hobby you know sitting in the middle of the night working on articles and stuff I really don't mind really I don't mind I, I enjoy doing it and I try to make it better every time and um, um, yeah that's a big privilege that I have I think so uh, yeah I, w I would not change it I always say to my girlfriend you know this when when it's New Year, you buy this lottery ticket once a year. That's what we do. <laughs> and then we start dreaming. What if we would, you know, win this prize and become a millionaire? And I always say, I oh, will probably do, do this, do that, stop with this, stop with that. But I, I would still focus on Air Mighty because it's, it's, it's what I want to do. It would just make yeah, it yeah. a lot easier, uh, a lot less stressful. But um, I would simply continue doing this because it's it's what I like. It it brings us so many good things and and in contact with so many cool people in the Volkswagen scene. We met so many cool people. Well, just like how we met in Indonesia. You know, yeah. if, if if it wasn't for the magazine, I would probably have never been there. Not met all those people. It was a crazy time. It was cool. And 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 now we're chatting here. And it's it, that's yeah. all you know how how, how that, yeah 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 i've said that to people before at work that if i won the lottery i'd probably still do what i do it's kind of yeah I, I, yeah i feel very fortunate for kind of yeah i call it kill this call this my job <laughs> and, uh, yeah yeah exactly kind of meet people and, so people much, and stuff and yeah it brings so much good stuff you know so many good people it's it's a great scene it really is yeah yeah um so obviously yeah mit is coming up 10 years old or it is 10 now isn't it and yeah you had a, a a big kind of show to, to celebrate um <laughs> yeah tell us a bit more about the show and obviously you've got covid19 which is sort of thrown a bit of a spanner in the works as well. well yeah quite a bit yeah 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 we already had to move it once and then i had to cancel it eventually um yeah i'm still planning it for next year that's for sure but uh, there's no date set yet uh, we still need to figure out what what will be a a good date a proper date to to get everything going and um yeah yeah uh, next year is going to be busy with a lot of postponed uh, events and, and, of course, big Definitely. shows like Hessies and stuff going on. So it's already busy. Uh, Hessies, Buggy and all those shows. It's already a busy season. So um, um, I, I I need – yeah, I'm just reading some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, the, 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 my goal for the first show, um, it, it, it's, um, it needs to be um, – a show and shine, like a Concours de Elegance show for Volkswagens, uh, the classic okay. Volkswagens. And um, because it's 10 years here, Mighty, I wanted to start with uh, getting together as many as possible 
uh, of the cars that we featured in the last 10 years. Yes. Um, that's a lot of cars, but a lot of those cars are in Japan as well, in America. And, yes. you know, I, of course, because you have to ask. Maybe if there is someone who says, yeah, of course, I'll ship my car and blah, 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 that would be great. But um, I'm not expecting people to do that. So uh, um, um, eventually I could fill the, the, the place up with 100, up to 120 cars. And 65%, according to my last calculations, were um, uh, cars from outside the Netherlands and that had been in the magazine. So it's kind of cool to see all those cars. A lot of them are still around. And I've been yeah. searching for some of the cars because they switched owners. Uh, other cars have been completely restor restored. So they, they look completely different now. But um, a lot of them um, we found. Um, and next to that, I wanted to have kind of like the, the Folks World Show idea, uh, a new uh, show and shine cars um, and there's a lot of stuff going on especially now with COVID-19 everyone's building so maybe yeah. next year will even be more crazy yeah. yeah but that that's the main plan so uh, for the first show the first show the first Air Mighty show get together as many as possible Air Mighty featured cars from the last 10 years and uh, fill fill it up with new show cars and of course if they're if, if it's a success uh, and we can do a second edition maybe once every two years um, then it needs to be new cars because you're not gonna well of course cars that have been in the magazines the, the last two years but not yeah, yeah. the last 10 years of course so uh, and fill it up with new cars so you, you kind of get a yeah, a full folks world idea of of new show and shine cars, indoor um, food trucks, outside traders, uh, special air cool parking. Uh, uh, the location is really good. It took me a long time to find something to put everything together, but uh, yeah, next year, hopefully next year, yeah, will be uh, yeah, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, awesome. That sounds really cool. Should we have a have a little flick through and just see if we got some questions in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I believe I saw Team MIT chilling at Strand Horse this weekend. Yeah, Strand Horse. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just a local, small local beach that we uh, that we go to with the family. We just take out the Westie and text message some friends, uh, 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 VW friends, non VW friends. Uh, we're going and. Uh, feel free to join us and uh, <laughs> it, it always ends up uh, with a good bunch of people just chilling you know just doing nothing so uh, that was last monday i'm not sure what the english word for pinkster is that's what it's called in holland but uh, i believe it's it's globally so uh, is it like uh, bank holiday where you have the day yeah, off no one goes yeah, to work yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah last monday so uh, yeah, that was good that was good and we tried to do that um yeah whenever it's good weather and we can yeah of course yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, someone's asked you've got ng on the back of your split bug what does it stand for you got the letters <laughs> yeah the what back does of it my stand for? oh uh, nl i think oh, it's it's nl a... rather than uh, yeah on the black yeah. one on the black one yeah that's uh, uh so. nl's netherlands someone yeah. said they got ng i think in indonesia but i don't know oh uh, ng no uh i can go downstairs yeah. but uh <laughs> we'll go and have a look yeah 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 no, and on the black card there, it says NL, which is uh, stands for the Netherlands. Um, or is it NG? It's the license plate, I think, is NG. Oh, maybe. Yeah, 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 I think so. I'll just flip the camera around. Uh, NG, yeah, it's just it's the original Dutch license plate, oh, okay. so uh, it doesn't really mean anything. It's it's just the number it got back in the days and uh, yeah yeah and that's the nl sign so that's yeah, yeah. that's the netherlands and this is this uh, on the blue one it says hup hup that's what my son always says when i'm when i'm well when i'm slowly when i'm not um yeah 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 when he's in a hurry he's always like hop up you know like hurry up <laughs> hop up yeah so i, I thought right. it would be a proper fit on the on the race car so yeah, well, talk, talking of your son, quite a lot of people in the kind of the VW and the car scene have kind of said, that, "Yeah, this car's for for my son or for my daughter." Have you got kind of a, a vehicle which you've got sort of in mind for him? Well, yeah, the blue car is his. We, okay. um, I said, "Yeah, we are going to build it," and it's even got his name on it. See? Oh, awesome! 
Yeah, so uh, that's his car. He just needs to wait uh, 11 <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm just test driving it for now at the moment. But yeah, that's his car. Eventually, I mean, he's your only child. So uh, <laughs> one day there will probably be all Feel his him. cars, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever he wants to do with it, it's up to him. But he joins us. Uh, my wife is into the Volkswagens as well. Um, cool. She has the, the Westie is her bus. Um, so, yeah, we, we go to the shows as a family a lot. Um, so he, he literally grows up with, with the whole scene. He knows a lot of the people, even at big shows like the European Bug, and he just goes his own way and people know him and he likes it. He's, um, yeah, so I think at some point he will probably... Uh, Hopefully, go out and, and join us uh, when he's, he's 18 still and uh, with yeah, his yeah, own yeah. car. And uh, maybe he's fed up with it when he's 18. I don't know. But uh, at this moment, at this point, he, he really enjoys it. Yeah. Yeah. So someone says you've been to their show in San Diego with 10-foot Doug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's 10-foot Doug? 10-foot Doug. Well, Doug. Doug Gaylord. He's a really good friend of ours. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, the lot cool he, he lives in San Diego. Yeah, really good, go cool guy. Um, a proper surf dude. Um, uh, and and w when we go, when we went to America the last two times, three times, we stayed at his place with the family, and um, he has a, a fifty-five barn door samba, and uh, uh, yeah, we we just hang out and. Uh, we can do our own thing, but if there is a show, uh, uh, we join him. And um, uh, like in the beginning, when we went to America, it was purely for the shows. And now the last two times, it also was like a family vacation thing. So we uh, we kind of plan it around, last time was around Prado, which is a huge show. And um, uh, um, well, the dog is located in San Diego and... Uh, in San Diego, there was a, a very cool show as well. So uh, he took us there with well, live music and stuff. It was really good. So uh, I'm not sure who asked, but yeah, that's uh, that's probably where we met. So uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, someone's also asked if you had to sell one of the cars, which one would go first? At this moment, that's pretty easy. It would be the fastback. It's it. I I, I got it recently and. Uh, yeah, at some point you kind of bond with a car and this, yeah, I've just been driving it. It needs some fine tuning and it's it's far from perfect, but um, it drives. That's kind of how I like my cars, to be honest, just drivers. Um, so, yeah, that, this, that would be easy. That would be that car. Uh, the other ones have a little bit more emotional value for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It will be hard. Yeah. If I need to let them go, we are in problems. So uh, if we need to let them go, we need help. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, fantastic. Um, yeah. Thank you very much to, uh, for chatting to us. I've exhausted my list of questions. Yeah. And um, yeah. So if we, let's tell people where they can find you. I suppose you're at Niels MIT, at Niels underscore MIT on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Instagram and on Facebook, it's Air Mighty Magazine is the the, the, the the magazine itself. And Neil Stimmerman, or if you just put in Air Mighty, you, you find my personal uh, profile as well, which is full, by the way. So uh, <laughs> as soon as people drop down a Facebook account uh, and I get a spot free, uh, I'll try to uh, see if I can add people. But you can always follow uh, uh, the... Um, the Air Mighty page on uh, Air Mighty Magazine page on, on Facebook. Um, yeah, furthermore, um, those are the, the two main social networks that I'm on Facebook and Instagram. And then there's the website, of course, airmighty.com with the web shop and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for uh, sp spending some time with us and showing us around your collection, Niels yeah you're so, welcome thank you guys and yeah. uh thanks for all the viewers for uh taking time to uh, yeah we've had loads of people this evening loads yeah. Of comments. yeah that's good that's good that's cool yeah thanks for everyone's support to the magazine it's uh it's not always easy but uh, we can make it and it's uh truly because of you guys so uh thanks for that yeah appreciate it cool cool so um i'll sort of wrap it up if um 
anyone out there be interested in chatting live with me, then drop us a DM. And then we can have a, a chat with uh, about getting you on. A uh, massive thanks to everyone for watching. Uh, we'll be saving this chat to our story shortly on, and then also go on to Instagram TV. And then with a bit of uh, messing around, we'll get it onto Facebook as well. Um, so people will be able to kind of watch it again and share it and everything. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, Niels. Have a uh, lovely evening. Yeah, you uh, too. See you, all, see you all soon and uh, stay safe, everyone. Hopefully, exactly. See you later. See ya. Bye-bye.